What does the Bible say about sex? That's the question I'm answering today. But first, I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz, Christian relationship coach and sex educator, and I'm so glad you joined me today. I love to help couples to create great intimacy in their marriage. So that question probably has a lot of different answers. And maybe you um, grew up and you heard some really stern messages from the church. And you know, I agree with no to sex before marriage, but a lot of times that yes, after marriage is not addressed well. And we all suffer when we don't have a clear understanding of what God really says about sex in marriage, one husband, one wife married to each other. And I am going to tell you three things that will help you to get clearer on that. So first of all, God says it's good. You know, it's a gift that he desires for husbands and wives to enjoy in marriage. And there are so many benefits physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. I mean, even people are more productive in life when their sexual intimacy is thriving. And we can Find out exactly how God said it was good by going to the book of Genesis chapter 1. We see in the Garden of Eden, after he made Adam and Eve, he said not just it was good, but it was very good. And he knew every detail. Oh, I could just go on and on about that. What else do we know? Well, according to God's design, we are to be naked and unashamed. And that means we get to come to this place of true intimacy where there's trust, there's vulnerability, there's transparency, there's a real connection with your spouse. And the third idea about sex in the Bible, when we get to follow Jesus' example of love and serving and tender and affection. So a lot of good things and so much more that you maybe never heard before. And if you've been missing out, you need the sexual wholeness toolkit. You need to know what's been missing from your repertoire of Christian ideas about sex. And there are some steps to making this sexual wholeness happen in your life. Number one, open the dialogue. You have to talk about sex. You have to talk about what is sexual wholeness. Number two, identify how brokenness in the world has impacted you, how it's derailed you from your future goals. Maybe you weren't even aware it was happening. Number three, be a voice steer the shift, get trained. Yes, I'm offering sexual wholeness training. Now, if you don't know God's design, then you will end up growing the distance in your relationship. And some couples even say they live in misery. I've also heard that they're just acting like roommates. So it's a a negative situation when you don't know all the blessings that God has for you. But when you do know, there are so many yeses and that true sense of love where you feel known, where you feel understood, where you feel appreciated. That's where we want to live. And that is waiting for you. And I want to teach you even more. So I'm hosting a sexual wholeness training. It's going to be live and online July 14th, 15th, 2023. All the details will be in the links below. And you might be saying, well, Mary, who's that good for? Well, if this spoke to you, it's for you because it will transform your life and you will be able to share it with friends. You know, it'll impact your family. Also, if you're a mental health professional or a ministry leader, this is for you. These are some of the missing pieces that will make your work as you are, you know, one-on-one or small groups with others. It'll transform that interaction. It's also for you if you are a director of a nonprofit that helps people overcome sexual brokenness. So 
it's good, it's ready, and it's time. You can sign up, you can see the link below. So excited to share this with you. Thanks so much for watching today. And remember, when your marriage thrives, everything in life thrives.